just cue the the failure. It's literally called a hilly geiter. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have an amazing day so far. And if you're new, hello, my name is Lucy. In today's video, I will be doing a back to school haul. So, I know a lot of these videos have already been uploaded and everything like that. However, I'm not very excited for school. So I just like plan going back to school, like just the week before I actually go back. Um, so that's why I'm filming this video now. I'm actually going back on Monday, so by the time you're watching this, it's two days until I actually go. So wish me luck. I don't really want to go back, but I'm gonna have to. <laughs> so I don't like long intros, so without further ado, let's get started. So I haven't actually bought that much this year, like new stuff for my back to school because I have a lot of stationery, like I'm not even joking. I have the most amount of stationery I think that any girl my age would actually have. I'm, yeah. And by the way, I know this is really triggering. <coughs> I haven't done another photo to fit on there yet. So I've got some bits and bobs I have bought and I also have got some stuff from last year and I'm also gonna just show you kind of what's in my pencil case. And also my new pencil cases and I'm gonna try remember where everything's from and tell you the prices and stuff because if you want to buy it as well, it'll be very helpful. Last year I did a five pound pound land video and something kind of went a little bit wrong in that video. I got so many pencils. I have not used hardly any of them. And just cue the the failure. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm really shocked that I got this bag full of pencils. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> I forgot that I looked at them before I opened the back. Right, I'll be back in a second. I am so stupid. Also, I know I look really bad in that video, but that failure was absolutely awful. Um, but it was really funny, so I kept it in the video, but I have so many pencils, they went e absolutely everywhere, and I have so many of them, so they just look like this, but with a rubber on the end, I'm pretty sure, and I have loads, but they're all under my bed, and when I need a new one, I just pull, like, two or three out and just put them in my pencil case. I also carry that many around, just in case anyone needs one, because I have a lot, and I don't really mind if they get taken. So, pencil, these are just from Powerland. I feel like for stuff like that, like pencils and like highlighters from Powerland, they're probably one of the best because have you ever had a highlighter that's run out? Because I know I haven't and pencils are just pencils. They're all the same everywhere. So, after that failure, I'm just going to show you the new stuff that I've bought. So... I went in to Tesco for all mine since it's half price on everything and Tesco is usually quite an expensive shop so in there I went and got a pack of glue sticks I can't actually remember how much these were but they weren't very expensive that's why I got them and I got the three little ones so they fit in my pencil case better and I can just replace them it's also nicer to get like finish one quicker and then get a new one that's like all nice instead of having a big one for a long time but the next thing i bought is these mini scissors so we actually have a list in our planners saying how like what station we need and stuff so these are my scissors last year they are absolutely disgusting and i've had them for so long and so i decided that it was time for some new scissors um, there was actually some nicer colours than grey but I thought it would just match with everything and I don't mind what my aesthetic looks like at school, I don't really care so as long as it, it works and stuff. So these were £1 and these are just the Tesco on brand, you could get branded ones and stuff like that but I thought that these ones were just the cheapest and they're also small to fit in my pencil case. So the next thing I bought, I can kind of use at school but not really. I just bought these pack of four white bob pens for a pound and I have two white bobs, don't ask me why but I do and I don't have any pens for them anymore. I just got a black one, blue, red and green and these are just 
very helpful. So the next thing I bought is so helpful. I decided to finally buy a foldy ruler. I did actually have a foldy, ru a foldy ruler in year seven. Don't ask me where it went, I have no idea. I'm gonna open all of this stuff at the end and put it all into my pencil case. But we're gonna dive into the different stuff that's in my pencil case. But first we're gonna start with the actual case. So this is my pencil case. I've had it, I had it last year as well. I really wanted to go and buy a new one. I wanted one of those ones that have got different pockets in because it's a lot easier than scrabbling through this whole thing. So if this breaks, I will go ahead and buy one of those ones from Amazon or something. But for now, I just have this one. And because we need to have coloured pens at school as well, we need like coloured pencil crayons. I also last year carried this one around. This isn't actually a pencil case. It's like a one that came with all the body stuff in that I got from someone's birthday party a long time ago. But I managed to fit in like a notepad and like revision cards and stuff in here. So I thought it was a good size. But it's actually broken now. And pens come out all in my bag all of the time. And it's really annoying. And I did need somewhere else to store my pens, so I bought this one from B&M. I think it's quite cute, and it's also clear, kind of. So, this is it, and I think it's really cute. This one will be my colouring pencils one. For now, I have lots of different things, and I'll probably keep a few coloured pens in, but I've just... Uh, from Tesco it was on a deal and for £10 I got one of those massive things full of sharpies I've got so many sharpies in here and I've also got fine liners and stuff in here and I'm just going to put my coloured crayons in here because most of the stuff in here is an absolute mess anyway and none of it is necessary but yeah so back to this pencil case this is from WH Smith it was six pounds i think which is quite steep for a pencil case but i really like it it pencil cases do get really dirty and stuff on the bottom and because it's clear it is really annoying there is other ones that are similar size to this and more expensive but i found this one and i fell in love there was only one left so it was literally asking for me to buy it um i bought that at the start of year eight so going inside i'm going to show you some of the stuff that is the most new in here so i got this pencil sharpener slash rubber but this was from wh smith this was so expensive don't ask me why i bought it also in here i have four pastel highlighters little story behind these pastel highlighters someone in my class said um they those highlighters look exactly like mine and so i looked at hers and she had five or six different ones that looked exactly the same and mine say highlighters from WH Smith. These were like the cheapest ones in there. They only come with four. And in B&M, I didn't know, but you can get exactly, like they have this exact package in. They just don't say WH Smith on them. And they come with six and they are like three pounds. And they come with a yellow. And yellow highlighter is one of my favourite colours. And this one didn't come with it. And so I'm very annoyed about that. But I don't want to buy any new ones. Because these aren't even nearly run running out yet. And I also didn't want to buy new ones. Because I actually colour code my planner with them. And if I got new ones they wouldn't be the same. I also, because I like yellow. I have this one which is so ugly. I don't know where it's from. But it's it's literally called a hilly guiter. It's spelled H-I-L-I-G-H-T-E-R as highlighter. But I keep it in there for highlighting in yellow, even though it's an ugly yellow and I don't like it. Next thing in here, as I said, you need to have pencil crayons. I just have a little pack of pencil crayons. I know I got these from Asda and they just came in a pack. They are just these ones. I know a lot of people have these ones. They are one of the best pencil crayons I've ever had. So before I got that ruler, I actually just used this Zoella one, which is really annoying because it's only 30 centimeters. Uh, it's only 15 centimeters. I love it and it's a really cool colour and stuff, but I just was not feeling it. So the last things in here are just all different types of pens. So at school, we need pens for marking. So we need green pens for marking and then purple for like notes and stuff. So I have this pen. It's just a one of those big pens, but this one isn't a normal one. It just has pastel colours on it. So it has a green for marking, purple for marking and stuff like that. And it also has a green and a blue. And I just 
to mess around with this. We also have two green normal ones. We get given these for free at school. So I have two of them and loads of people don't have them. So I just give them out, you know. The next thing I have in here is just a compass. Is it a compass? I think it's a compass. But we can buy stuff at the library. And I think I bought this because we needed it in maths. But they're so cheap from the library, so... So, from Poundland last year, I bought these. The other one ran out, but, yeah, it's they're just amazing. I use them all the time. I don't think they smudge, which is really good, and because I'm left-handed, it's annoying. I was trying to find one of those um, dry ink, like, erase pens kind of thing. They're for, like, left-handed people, and apparently they're really good, but I can't find one anywhere, so if you know where to find one, please let me know, know in the comments. And then I also just have this simple little one. I think I got it in a pack from Poundland, but this smudges, but I really like what my handwriting looks like in it. Then I also have the zebra one. I don't know why I have so many pens, but I bought a pack of these, and I love them as well. So, last but not least is just bits and bobs in my pencil case. I have my Casio calculator and I did a like makeover video, that video was so bad, it was a total fail. So after that I just spray painted it rose gold and I think it looks quite nice, it's like all battered and not that nice now. But it's just a Casio calculator and these are pricey so I'm not buying a new one of these and you know it's a little customised kind of thing and it also has loads of my friends names written in it so that's cool i have just the simple protractor i use this for like titles sometimes i used to do every single day with this and the teacher used to get annoyed at me because it took so long and then i have this which i made in art when i was bored it just says lucy and i thought it's cool so i'm gonna leave that in there and before i put all of my stuff back in my pencil case i'm also gonna clean it out because it's really ugly so i'll be back when all that's done so everyone i'm back and i know you're probably not supposed to put water in this but i did it and um, it kind of helped it's still a bit dirty and it's got fingerprints all over it because i'm annoying and i did it but why do i look blurry it's done now. I'm going to put everything back in. I'm just going to go through this and see what's in it. So, there's just loads of, like, loads. Loads. And loads. Of these. So, I'm going to keep them all in there because I think they are cool and I might use them at school. I also have brush pens. I have, like, a highlighter thing in here. So I'm going to put that in my pencil case, my, my main one. And I have all of these, oh, I have all of these fine liners. Then I obviously have these. So this is the thing. So these are just normal fine liners, but these are fine liners and brush pens. So instead of just putting these in, I'm going to put these in instead. And I'm not taking them to school. This comes with a pink, black, orange, blue, teal, pink, purple, pink, blue, and yellow. So I'm going to choose them over my fine liners. And then I have my massive bunch of Sharpies. Two pencil cases, all done and dusted. And I'm going to put them in my bag when my bag's ready to be schooled <laughs> i also realized they still have these in a packet but i'm just gonna not take them to school because they're for at home and i just have this black one which i was just gonna go in my main pencil case so this bag i'm actually using now is a bag of spares i've also taken out these pastel sharpies that i got in a different pack and i'm gonna put them in with the others so now i've actually got everything i could ever need and i'm being really over dramatic and everything I am now done so I hope you guys really really enjoyed this video if you did be sure to smash that like button and also subscribe down below thank you so much for 200 subscribers like I'm not even joking it means the absolute world to me every single one of you who are subscribed are the best I love you all so so much also comment down below some new video ideas and also the questions that I've asked in this video and I will see you guys soon bye thank you for 200 subscribers love you all